Hello, it's Bini here. Today, this video, I want to do a recap on how the Tor method performed over the period before and after the uh, important news, which is Aussie cash rate and RBA rate statement. Today, on the 7th of March, we saw that um, RBA had a rate high of 25 basis points, which is within the forecast, all right, and uh, pretty much Aussie job, right? Now let's uh, take a look at, uh, you know, leading up to the Aussie cash rate, what are the signals that were being fired by Tor? First trade was uh, Aussie franc, and uh, the signal came on a Thursday. It's about Thursday at uh, 10 p.m. Singapore time. All right, I was looking at this trade together with my students, and we were reviewing it. If you had taken this trade, I think that um, in just like four days, um, the trade pretty much um, moved into profit at about um, 100 pips profit. So that's a nice one. The second trade, which also happened on a Thursday night at the same time of Aussie franc was Aussie dollar. I was still joking, you know, to consider to take Aussie dollar. Alright, but ultimately, out of the three trades that was fired on the very same night, I decided to take Aussie franc, and which I actually told, which I told them, the students. Right, if you had taken into Aussie dollar, alright, then your trade would be also in the profit, and that's about uh, thirty nine or thirty pips. Not a lot, but still good as a um trade. Right, the third one was uh, Aussie cat. The trade was fired here again at the same time as Aussie dollar and Aussie franc. I mean, if you had taken this trade, there is a high chance you would be stop out here. All right, so this would result in a loss. Uh, even eventually, price did move down, but I think that you would just uh, you know end up with a loss. Right, I've stated my reason of why I'm not going to take this trade. And therefore, if you had taken this trade, which I didn't, because I already had other trades right in the cap, that would end up with, let's say, a loss of 70 pips. The uh, next trade was a trade that's on Euro Aussie, and that was fired here, right? It was just yesterday. See how much it moves up. Really, really very nice. If you have taken this trade, and then you know it might be a profit of let me just do a calculation, and that's about you know I would think about two hundred pips if we just leave it until now. Okay, so we have two hundred pips and a negative uh, seventy pips right in uh, Aussie cat. The last one which uh, happens only today. Let's check check it out. All right, the last Aussie related trade happens today, which uh, happened just now at 2 p.m. And the trade was Aussie versus Kiwi. So that's the trade here. So this was the bar. All right, Aussie versus Kiwi. Um, if you have taken this trade, I think uh, that's probably, um, let me just do a calculation. All right, and that's probably about a 45 pips right now. Okay, so that's 45 pips. Uh, for the rest, I don't think there's any signal because even though Aussie Yen also moved down, but there wasn't any signal for us. Uh, although I have to say that it was clear for Aussie Yen because it's all along resisted. It's a very clear trade that it is going to, um, you know, be a doubt. All right, right now I have the uh, next trade that's just pop in here. And I think that's uh, Euro Yen on a 4 hour. Alright, I'm just going to check out Euro Yen. Uh, but I hope that if you had traded with Tor, alright, then you would have gained from Aussie Franc 100 pips, Aussie Dollar 30 pips, Aussie Cat, which was a negative about um, negative 70 pips, Euro Aussie, that's 200, and lastly, Aussie Kiwi that's 45 and in total in total that's about 305 pips you might not have gotten all of 305 because I don't think that anyone uh, would be able to put in all the trades so we have that uh, winning trade but you might not be able to make uh, that uh, pips right if I have listed here in fact I don't have all right I only have the Euro Aussie 
and Aussie Frank and I've put in a trade on Aussie Yen. Alright, um, that's how we trade the TOR strategy and we are waiting for the next uh, key event that's going to come and this week would be first BOJ and then followed by the Northland Payroll.